What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are continuing, well, we are concluding our Spooktober event where we're going through a bunch of different books that are spooky, uh, suspenseful, thriller, thrillerful, I don't know. We're going through a bunch of those books, and today we are going through one that very much lives up in that category. It is Something is Killing the Children. This is by James the IV, and uh, I'm gonna try and get this right. Werther Deladera. Let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, I already said their names, but James Tinney the Fourth and Werther Deladera uh, absolutely killed it on this book. And we are going to crack it open and see exactly why they killed it on this book. But first, we need to talk a little bit about the controversy behind the book. Not of the contents or anything like that, but because of the how it was uh, really the publication behind it. Uh, Boom Studios does some really good collected editions. Do not get me wrong. But they do seem to be having some trouble with their FOC or final order cutoff. And this book was no exception to that. Um, the slipcase edition, which is basically this, because the deluxe edition is the exact same book. But the slipcase edition just comes with the slipcase. That's, that's really it. Uh, the slipcase edition, they didn't close FOC until a month before it was going out, which is way beyond what they need for print numbers. So they drastically underprinted this book. And with all the paper shortages and supply chain craziness going on right now, they cut the uh, the orders that, that local comic shops and distributors like our sponsor, Organic Price Books, they cut them all like in half, seems like, if you're lucky. So, um, Many people didn't get their books, which is super sad, but at least the deluxe edition is coming out in a little while. You can pre-order that in the link in this description of this video, but good news, they are doing a second printing of the slipcase. I know they said they're only doing the first, the slipcase was only getting a first print, but because of that big mishap with printing, they are going back to the printers with a second edition, second printing of the slipcase edition, which uh, pre-orders go live in January 2022. And I believe it hits mid 2022. I don't even really want to give a month because it seems like they all get slid back anyways, but mid 2022, it should be coming out a second edition of this. Uh, right now they have a continuation of this book, kind of a spinoff series called House of Slaughter that just started as of the making of this video. So there is a ton of content coming out for this and that's gonna take a while if they're gonna do the same thing, which was, uh, what was it? 16 issues, I think, for this deluxe edition. And they're on number one as of right now for House of Slaughter. So they got some time and you have some time to catch up if you want to. Let's get into it. So here is the slipcase limited edition, first print, whatever you want to call it, of something is killing the children. Here is the spine. So it's pretty much the same on both sides, spine on that side. Um, and then let's get into it. So the, here is the actual deluxe hardcover. This is the exact same hardcover that you will see um, if you just pre-order or purchase the deluxe hardcover. Um, yeah, you already saw that spine. Here's the back. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is volume one, which is exciting because that means more than likely volume two. I did want to show that this has some cool texture to it, um, which is that those teeth that you saw, let me grab it real quick. These teeth that you see on the slipcase and on her mask up here, um, but it's kind of got that 
imprinted, uh, actually it's lifted off on there. And pretty cool, it's just a cool little touch. But again, this is by uh, James Tinian IV, uh, Werther de la Dera, and Miquel Muerto. Um, yeah, so this is it. Let's get into it, flip it open, some plain uh, end sheets. A little bit disappointing, I'm a sucker for end sheets, so when I just see plain color, eh. But you know what, this kind of matches the motif of this book. Again, it's by Boom Studios. Um, here's the intro. And the whole thing, again, this is good, try and not spoil too much. Um, so I'll kind of flip through it, give my thoughts and all that. Uh, Werther's art is outstanding throughout the entire book. This cap, this um, gets uh, it's 16 issues collected together, so 16 chapters. And it starts off with a game of truth or dare, where they uh, tell a story that's very creepy and all of a sudden, it might not just be a story because you find yourself uh, talking with a detective about what happened to all these kids. And you're like, what the crap? What did happen? Uh, and then right off the bat, you're introduced to basically our main character, uh, Erica Slaughter. And you kind of find out just how... Uh, how badass she is as she talks with different kids gets strange phone calls and you again meet up with the kid who is being investigated and telling the spooky story and it uh, it all just kind of goes downhill from there and it I will say that she's she's badass there's great art but it is creepy and it is weird and I say this a lot as a dad watching kids uh, die or go missing it is like one of the worst fears ever as a dad so this this was a horrifying book just because of that um yeah and it definitely gets graphic as you can see there are pretty much right off the bat uh there's kids torn in half and you're seeing their uh insides just dragging across the ground and everyone's freaking out and it doesn't get any better from there and you meet monsters right off the bat. Uh, this is definitely not a book where you don't know what the monsters look like. You very much do know what the monsters look like. You're just trying to figure out why and uh, all that other kind of stuff. So <laughs> um, it's very, it's more of a mystery about um, Erica Slaughter than it is about what's actually happening to the children. You kind of figure out, you find out why it's happening to the children. Um, but uh, it's more about uh, the house of slaughter and all that kind of stuff. And you kind of, uh, this is just almost, it's weird to say, but it's almost backstory to everything going on. And you're almost more, you're, you're, you're more curious about who he is and what this house is and What's the St. George thing going on? Um, but yeah, anyways, the art in this story is out of this world. So cool. Uh, love the cover art. There's tons of variant issues and all of that going on throughout it. But man, is this art awesome. And it is uh, creepy and weird and dark. I absolutely loved it. I tore through this. I did, I think, eight issues the night I got it and eight issues last night, which was you know, the second night. And I just tore through it uh, like these monsters tore through children. Um, wow, that's horrible. I almost feel bad for saying that. Anyways, um, very cool writing. Uh, James Tinian IV is just, he's hes always a great writer. Uh, I've loved all of his stuff on Batman. He's such a solid writer, such a solid visionary for his story. Absolutely loved it. I'm going to kind of skip along so you don't see too much at the end because um, I don't I don't want to give that away but it's got a cool interesting ending to things on what's going to go on um, 
a little telephone, no, I don't want to say telephone to end, but a little predictable in how it ends and uh, her characterization, but it does follow what her character would do. So that's, you know what, that's okay. Um, very cool uh, afters, lots of interview stuff with James and Werther, uh, talking about their process and, you know, about the story and all that. Very cool backup art and uh, sketches and all that. So that's cool. I would have loved, absolutely loved, if they had done a uh, cover issue gallery at the end. Um, so that was a little disappointing because, man, so many of these issues have great covers and amazing variants. So I would have loved to have seen that. But you know what? Having some cool interview stuff is great too. Uh, and maybe we'll get some, uh, some of that gallery stuff in deluxe book too. We will see. But in any fact, that brings us to the end. And there's that. And again, that's got some cool raised up effects on there. Um, matte finish, I will say. Uh, I try, I, I'm a little bit weird. I try and wash my hands before I read books. And even then, like, it gets smudges on it quite a bit. So that's a little annoying with the matte print. But in any fact, it is a beautiful book, beautiful um, presentation of something super gruesome. But that is it, and there you go. All right, again, so that was the slipcase limited edition, sort of limited edition of Something is Killing the Children. Wow, did this take me by surprise. I hadn't heard anything about it until the slipcase had gotten announced a couple months ago, and then it just took, seems like it took the comics community by storm. And after reading it, I can definitely see why I really desperately want to read House of Slaughter, see where that goes. Uh, it's a little weird because, you know, kind of the main character, you see what happens to him and kind of, well, it's, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I mean, sort of a spoiler alert, but uh, you know that he dies in this book and so there's not much you can really get attached to, it seems like, or you can't let yourself get attached. So um, I don't know, maybe I would uh, recommend people read that first who are jumping in way down the road, read House of Slaughter first, and then read Something is Killing the Children. Um, kind of some gives and, give and take with that, where this is kind of the slow reveal of what the House of Slaughter is and all this kind of stuff versus um, having this cool background of the character and not knowing that he's gonna die. That's my biggest beef with it. Either way, it's a great read. Um, again, if you want to pre-order the Deluxe Edition, hit up the description of this video where you can get that. Use code OMNIBUDDY to get $2 off every order, not just that, the order that you're doing with something that's killing the children, but do that. Or you can wait for January 2022 when the uh, pre-orders go live for the second printing of the slipcase edition, which should come out June, July-ish of 2022, hopefully. All right, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the Spooktober overview event. Uh, if I miss any books, we'll try and hit them next year. So let me know in the comments what spooky books I missed. I know I gotta do Revival. That is a four book, uh, four volume series by Image. Where is it? It's uh, right there. By Image and it's pretty good, but I haven't been able to finish it yet. Lock and Key, I'm mid read of that now, but it is a huge compendium and it's taken me way longer to read than I expected, especially when books like this drop into my, uh, into deliveries and I need to read it and get that review out because it is awesome. So what other spooky books do you think I should review or talk about next year for a Spooktober event? All right, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things. But yes, comment, what did I miss? What do you think is the spookiest book around? All right, that's it. Take care, stay safe.